Hey, welcome. This is the second problem, and in the second problem we have the position of a particle moving uh, in the xy plane is given by the parametric equations x of t that and y of t that. At which of the following points xy is a particle at rest? So here, it's as if we're given uh, the position function as a vector, x of t, and then y of t. Well, we know that the velocity function, if this is position, uh, the vector s of t, let's say, and that's position, then we know that velocity uh, v of t has to be uh, the component y's derivative, so it's got to be x prime of t comma y prime of t. Got it. So we need to, um, then, because we need to figure out where the particle is at rest, find out where this velocity is equal to zero, that is to say, where this thing here, that vector, will be the zero, the zero vector, which is zero, zero, right? And so trying to get there, uh, we uh, first find x prime of t from the given x of t. So given that x of t is that, x prime of t has to equal 3t squared um, minus 6t. And then y prime of t from the given y of t has to equal 12 minus 6t setting uh, both of these equal to zero, we get that zero will have to equal uh, factoring also. I can factor 3t times uh, t minus two here, and then here I'm going to uh, get zero is equal to 12 minus 6t. So 12 equals 6t, which means that t equals two. And here I get, uh, from 3t equals zero, I get t equals zero. And then from t minus 2 equals 0, I get t equals 2. So I see that this is redundant. And we know that the particle was at rest at the beginning, when it, which is at t equals 0. So it must be this t value of 2 that we're after. So what it asks is, um, at which of the falling points x, y is the particle at rest? So we need an x, y, not a t value. So given, given this t, though, we can get to an x, y, because since we know x of t for all t, we know x of 2 will have to equal 8 minus 3 times 4, which is 2 squared, right? So that's 8 minus 12, which is negative 4. And then y of 2 will have to equal, um, using the formula for y of t at all t values, 12 times 2 minus 3 times 2 squared, so 3 times 4. So that literally says uh, 12 times 2 minus 12 times 1, therefore just 12. Um, and so then the point has to be negative 4 comma, ooh, I didn't write that very well. So that the point has to be negative 4 comma 12. Okay, so there. Um, answer choice A, and we circle them in red, so let me do that. Okay, take care.